Hey guys, it's Shannon. So, oh god, I haven't made a video in like since Thanksgiving. That's coming up on almost a, three weeks or a month. For, um, yeah. It's coming up on three weeks or close to a month or something. So, I know it's been forever. Um, so I figured I would just go ahead and do a basic TTC and life update since it seems to be the common thing going around right now. But I, like I said, I haven't made a video in so long. I figured it would. It's time. So. I'm sure as if you guys, as you guys, I can't talk today, guys. I'm sorry. As you guys all know, um, Vaughn and I moved to Michigan on the 26th of November. Um, it was smooth sailing. Um, 10 hour drive, no problems. Um, stayed at my mom's house the night we got here and then moved everything in the next day. Got everything set up, so everything is good to go. Um, took me a couple days to find my Provera, but now that I've found it, um, today is Provera Day 8, which as long as everything goes the way it normally does, I'll take it 8, 9, and 10, which is th uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then my period usually comes two days later, so it'll come on probably Monday, it'll last till Friday. Whatever. So, um, I am doing an unmonitored Clomid cycle, 150 milligrams. Um, so we'll see how that works. Um, see if I respond to it. I did not respond to 50 and I did not respond to 100. So we're trying 150 and then we'll figure it out from there if that doesn't work either. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I think I'm on a, a cycle day, 100 and... I don't know, 60 something maybe. I'm really not sure at this point. And I just don't feel like going back to fertility friend to find out. So yeah, um, that's pretty much that's going. Um, yeah, there's not really, like I said, I mean, Bon, bon just got a job, so he's working. I'm riding unemployment for a little while. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. We're just trying to get settled in and get, you know, get the ball rolling. Oh, also I want to mention that for those of you that do not know, which if you're on my Facebook, then you already do know, um, I've started a little hobby, which I've been doing since I was like 12, but I've started to like actually do it. I am crocheting. Um, Vaughn, will you bring me my crochet stuff so far? As in the top drawer of the white cabinet and um, the red blanket. Um, so yes, I've started... Sit over here. Thank you. So I have started crocheting and I actually opened up my own store, which I will post the link below if you guys are interested. Um, I want to show you a couple things. I would show you one of the headbands that I've made, but I only I've only made two so far and one I gave to my mom and one somebody bought Melissa. Hurricane Melissa bought. So um, but I'll show you a couple other things. Um, this is a child's beanie that I made. It's small, so obviously you can tell it's not going to fit a, an adult's head, but there's that. Um, this is a ruffled pot holder. I don't know how well you can tell, but it is ruffled. So it'll fit, it's got enough space here to fit a nice pot, and it's pretty. And I can do it in any color. Anything that you see here, if you are interested in it, I can make it any color you want, because I've got all of them. Um, I'm not going to show you one of my blankets I'm working on because it is for review giveaway on somebody else's channel, so they'll show you when it's done. Um, this is another blanket I've been working on. It's almost done. I have to finish the border. Um, it is more of a child's blanket or a, babe, a larger baby blanket, but it's red and white. Like I said, I can do any colors you want. And then my favorite item so far that I have made is a rainbow scarf. 
like this and it's got little clouds so in theory you should probably wear it doubled over because it is really long Woo! so and then you can see the little clouds on it it's really cute though I love this thing um, so as far as pricing goes um, you have to check out my store you can see the prices on there I mean most of it nothing's really over like a large the, the most expensive thing is like a, a, an adult size blanket which um, is anywhere between 60 and 70 dollars which I don't have up on the site yet because they're not done um, the rainbow scarves 26 um, I think the pot holders eight some of the headbands are seven the beanies 10 I mean it's all really compared to most prices on other uh, on other places it's really cheap like this rainbow scarf this exact same thing on Etsy is 60 bucks and I sell it for 26 so I mean it's I'm cheap so shipping's like 450 or something so um, like I said I will post the link to that below so you guys can go check that out if you would like um, and just for my YouTube subscribers and my Facebook friends um, because this is a new store, I've created a discount code. If you enter in open 10 O capital O P E N one zero, you'll get 10% off your order. Um, I'll have that up for the first probably 10 orders. Um, or yeah, I don't, I haven't decided yet. So, um, yeah, so check that out as well. Um, I'll be back to let you know when cycle day one happens or somewhere in that area. And if I've calculated correctly, our fertile window should be the end of the month, the last couple days of the month. So we'll see how that goes. If, like I said, if I respond to the, the Clomid. So, um, I will talk to you guys later. Um, if you have any questions or anything, you know, put them below and, uh, yeah. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.